Now one of the things introduced in chapter 5 is this idea of creating something known as a pivot table. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get rid of our uh, subtotal effect. Go ahead and select remove all on that. And what I need to do from here is now that I've removed uh, the subtotal effect, it's just normal data again. I'm going to head over to my insert tab one more time and just like we did with inserting a table this time we're going to insert a pivot table now just like that message says it makes taking all of our data a lot easier to sort of arrange uh, so what we've been doing is we've been working off the filter effect this is actually going to do the exact same thing but in a cleaner manner so I'm just going to leave everything by default it's going to give me a new worksheet and I've got my data selected and when I hit OK, I get nothing. OK, that sucks. What you see all of a sudden, however, is I'm allowed to tell sort of Excel what I want to add to this. So let's say, for example, I add uh, the week number. Now, when I click on that, you see all of a sudden I get some of week numbers. Well, that's not really good. Week numbers weren't really meant to be added up. But I can change that. I can come down here and you notice drag the fields between the areas because it's now saying how do I want this to be presented. If I want to present it to uh, be weak rows, I just click and drag it to there and you see that all of a sudden my rows appear that way. If I bring it back up here, suddenly my columns, my columns appear. If I bring it all the way up here, it vanishes. If I click on day, Luckily, day automatically sort of has that in effect. So what happens if I, say, pick day and then I pick segment? Well, right now, because of uh, sort of highlighting them both, Excel immediately throws each one of these segments uh, into each one of my days. So I see, technically speaking, all the coffee built on Sundays. But I can, say for example, take, let's say, our segment, and I click, hold, and drag it, up to columns. Suddenly what happens is I've built a table from my table. I'm actually looking at say the cross reference of when Sunday and coffee intersect, when I have coffee on a Sunday, when I have food on a Sunday, when I have a specialty drink on a Friday. Okay, but you notice it's blank there so clearly we need something going on. Well, what are we looking for? When we look at our original cash receipt, when I say Friday specialty drink, I want that number. I want all those numbers. I want all the specialty drinks. So what I can do is when I click on amount, you're going to notice that it brings itself to this value section. It automatically uh, assigns itself to sum of amount. I can actually drop down that and you see I get a few options as well. This will actually allow me to remove it or move it to a particular field. But all of a sudden I now have this ability to present my data of the subtotal for Sunday coffee in an easy to view manner. And just to zoom in a little bit so we can see it a little better, you can see exactly that.